Alright guys, we're back here. Um, we have our wire for the momentary switch for the X axis. Should be um, at least 30 inches long. Or somewhere around there. It doesn't absolutely need to be 30 inches. But I'm missing a nut here. It's in our belt bag. Uh, it comes with a lock nut. You want to put a lock or uh, lock washer. If you want to put a lock washer in there, you could go ahead. Uh, I'm just going to do it. I don't have to. I didn't do it with my first one. But you're just going to put it back here. Probably be easier if you put it in before putting the rod support in. So you guys might want to do that. Because this is going to be tough. So I put So, we have our switch there, towards the back, and when our X carriage slides to it, that tab will hit it, to let it know when the X is at home. So, the X carriage, uh, let's do the hot end. Let me pause this because I'm going to have to go get a hothead. I decided to go with a 3mm hothead for this one. The only thing we'll need is brass nozzle, Teflon tube that goes inside of uh, this, and the peak tube. Well, the peak tube stays there for now. So we are going to... This just in like that, just like this, and we're gonna screw on the hot head. That should be good, and then the hose connector. This is what feeds the um, filament into the hothead. You know what? You should have done this before you put the bracket. This should have been the first thing, actually. Because if you do need to tighten it, you're going to have to... There's two grooves on the bottom there that you need to hold. And I can't get to it. Um, let's do this. See if I could wedge something in there. So put in the hot head before. You know what? I might be able to reach it through. Let's do that. Tighten this up. But yeah, let's do it before you put on the hot head. That's working. Kind of just wedging the pliers to it. So the peak doesn't slip. That's nice and good. Alright. Let's tighten it a little bit more. It's one of these. Perfect. I had the right, the correct way there. There you go. There you go. 
that's what it's going to look like. So the X carriage is basically done right now. Let's put this aside and let's work on or let's mount the motor for the X. The X motor is going to have two PEM nuts. Uh, let's grab a motor. Or let's, I forgot to mark this. Let's mark that um, momentary switch there. This is the X switch. So I'm just going to mark it with an X and an S. So later on I know that it's the X switch. Uh, let's use this as the X motor. So I'm going to write X. Just an X should do it. So what we're going to do is have the wire facing this way towards the back of the motor. So all the uh, wires could run towards the back of the motor. We're going to have the wires running that way. And to secure down the motor, these are where the M3 nuts come in play. M3 nuts, they look like the 440, but they have a Phillips head. So the small ones with the Phillips head, and it also has a thicker head also. That's where we're going to put that into to secure down the <coughs> motor to the bracket. Let me just do that right now. And these motors actually have a, a D slot in them. In them, so we do not have to file it down to give it kind of that moon shape the D slot there if you can see it just kind of like a flat side to it uh, let's put our pulley in for this pulley we're just gonna go straight down and kind of have it leveled with the uh, shaft here so the top of the pulley should be leveled with the shaft and then just tighten it down make sure one of the screws line up to the um, flat end of the shaft. That's the purpose of that shaft. And I, this is not it. There you go. There's two screws. That's one screw. And here's the other one. And we are good. Now let's secure the motor. The screws for the motor is going to be or the motor bracket is 3 8 It's also a 1032 screw but 3 8 in length. Uh, it looks like this is 3 8 1, 2, 3 8 so these are three eighths. I'm just gonna s gather the other two three eighths there, just so I don't have to measure it again. Here's another one, and here's the other one. So I have four. Just gonna put it right there. And since these have pem nuts, you're just gonna screw the three eighths screw. 1032 38 screw directly into the pin nuts. Let's use this thing here. Everything's good. And just screw it in. Just a little bit for now.
Make sure it's kind of leveled. We're good. It's in there. If you want to take a look. There's the X motor there. 